Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. Today I want to share with you a quick little project that we made at a recent class. Um, and it is this desktop calendar. So it's like an easel and has a little decorated notepad inside as well or you could pop in um, some post-it notes in there as well. So it does stand and it stands better if you push the easel bit down um, and when you add this front pocket bit if you put that right down at the bottom that will help it balance a little bit better as well otherwise it can be a little bit front heavy. So when we do our classes I like to do as much preparation as I can and um, so the ladies all get um, instructions so that if they want to make this at home they know what supplies they need to make and then I give them directions but we go through it together anyway and for this one I gave them a cutting template for the pocket on the front there as well. So we're using, this is the Splendid Day Designer series paper, absolutely gorgeous and Calypso Coral um, card and I've got a little bit to do the sentiment on the front which is um, this one just a note from go to greetings I have done the scoring on the larger piece because that was already done for the class um, but somebody did have a little mishap with their pocket piece so I used the one from this kit as a replacement for them so I just need to get my measurements again so with this piece of card it is five and a half by three and a quarter and on the long side I want to score that at half an inch one inch Four and a half inch and five inch and then a half inch and one inch on the short side like that okay the longer piece is 11 inches by four and one eighth and i've scored that at four and a half five and a quarter six and ten and a half inches okay that's the scoring done oops sorry about that <laughs> i really whacked that okay so with this piece here we've got the little narrow bit at the top and that's just going to be our tag tab for gluing then i want to do a mountain a valley and a mountain hold on that so that you essentially get that sort of w shape like that okay a little bit of glue on that tab at the top and then just fold that over that will sit nice and neatly along there and you've got your easel already easy peasy so i like to have the join at the back and we've got three pieces of designer series paper this one is for the back here and i'm going to put that on with tear and tape because with foiled papers, sometimes you see the adhesive too when you use wet glue and you kind of get a wrinkly edge. Um, I can tell what the ruler there it is. Um, so I like to try and avoid that with either using a tape runner or tear and tape. I get on with tear and tape a lot better than I do with tape runners. 
but that's just my personal preference. Normally, I'm a wet goo. Wet glue gal. Jinx. <laughs> um, but as I say, sometimes with foil, it's not the best. Okay. I should have put the tape on before we started filming and then it would have been a lot quicker, but never mind. Um, just take the backings off that. And then that will be the base of the easel done. Don't think there's an upside down or right way round for this. There we go. That's that on. We can now go on to the little pocket piece and just burnish those score lines. On this, chopping straight down those two pieces there, turn it around and doing the same. So you're not just going to the first, you're going to the second score line in there and the same on this one here. Okay, I'm going to chop that at a little bit of an angle, just taking those two pieces out and the same at that side okay then chop that tab in half along that score line okay take a tiny wedge off this piece and just cut that down a little bit further there we go and then just a little wedge off either side of that little tab there. Okay, I went a bit far there. So, little tab chopped and little wedge off this piece here, like that. Let's get rid of all of that. Okay, so you are left with this shape here. I want to put glue on these tabs. I'm just going to use my little glue to get a nice even coverage and hopefully it doesn't ooze out too much. Okay. Fold that over and then bring that round so you've got a nice right angle there and hold that until your glue sets and then do exactly the same on the other side so nice even bit of glue on there fold that in and fold that up press it down and wait until your glue goes off and then you're going to do bring these two bits over and add a little bit of glue in there and that's just to hold it whilst you um, put it on to your base so I like to put my pinky underneath so that I've got that set Again, just bringing that over, trying to make sure that you've got that piece straight and then just give it a press and you're going to add glue to all of that to stick it on there but first I am going to add this little piece. 
So all of the measurements for all of these pieces will be in my blog post. And if I can figure it out, I might even add my instruction document as a PDF to my website. But don't hold your breath for that one. Um, but the details will be in my blog post with all of the measurements and the products that I'm using. And there'll be a link to that blog post in the description for this video. There'll also be links to my online shop, should you wish to purchase any of the products that I'm using today. Just keep adding. Whilst I'm, I've got that out, I'm just going to add that on as well. And this bit is for covering the notepad. The notepads I buy in Wilco in the UK and they are super cheap. They are normally 50 pence each but quite often Wilco will do um, an offer where you can buy three for a pound and whenever that offers on I stock up because they make nice little gifts and I've been selling some of these at my craft fairs um, so take a quick tool again where did I put it? there it is great for getting the backings off without getting sticky on your nails That bit is going to go on here. And then my little calendar tab, which I buy from Amazon, again in the UK. Um, and I just search mini calendar tabs and they come up with quite a few different choices. And again, I bulk buy because I was using them for class and for craft fairs. But I think you can get them sort of like in packs of 10. Rather than the 50 or whatever I buy. <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier, you want to have the bottom of that lined up with the bottom of your easel part okay I'm a little bit too low definitely use wet glue for that and then you've got a bit of time to wiggle it about okay happy with that and then once I'm happy with the sides I'll just put my bone folder in there and give that a little press down as well so just trying to make it make sure i've got it as square as i can on there last bit to do is the notepad okay. and as i say if you are not in the uk or don't have a wilco anywhere near you you could put in a different size of notepad whatever you can find or a pack of post-it notes to fit in. I don't have a full pack, but I've got a little bit here. I can show you that. That fits in there nicely as well. Okay. So, and what I like to do with these, because that is kind of raised, is to pretty much slide it up to there. And then I cut this paper a little bit bigger than it needs to be because it's easier to put on. If you don't get it quite straight, it's not a problem. You just have a little bit to chop off and you have to do it both sides if you've not got it on perfectly. So that's that. Final piece is our little sentiment saying just a note. Again, I'm using Calypso Coral ink and that 
lovely little stamp from Go To Greetings. And my double oval punch. And that I'd tidied away <laughs> for a change. It's about the only thing that's not on my desk at the moment, but never mind. So I've already punched one from uh, Calypso Coral, the larger size, and then the smaller one. Like so just simply layer them up like that and then I want to put that quite high up because I want it to be seen when my notebook is right down at the bottom so you might even want to put your notebook in first and then pop that on there just notice how squint my calendar is but never mind too late <laughs> but there we are quick and easy um, our ladies loved making these in lots of different colours from the gorgeous pack of paper, which I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, Splendid Day Designer Series Paper. So, hope you like these. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notification of the next time I upload a tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.